Assalamu alaikum. Today I want to talk briefly about the anatomy of the urinary system. Anatomically, the urinary system is closely associated with the reproductive system. So urinary and reproductive system are often collectively called urogenital system. And the urinary system consists of six organs. Two kidney, two ureter, a urinary bladder, and finally the urethra. The urinary system have many functions. One of them is filtration of blood and second, secrete the enzyme, which is called renin. And third, regulate the blood volume of under pressure. And fourth, regulate the osmolality of the body fluids. And fifth, secrete hormone like erythrobiotin, which control the red blood production in the memoro and contributed the calcium hemostasis, finally detoxified free med radicals and drug. The gross anatomy of the kidney. The kidneys lies against the posterior abdominal wall. At the level of the vertebrae, thoracic number 12, and three lumbar vertebrae. As you see here that the right kidney is slightly lower than the left because of the space occupied by the liver above. Here is the right loop of the liver. So the right kidney is slightly lower than the left. The kidneys would weigh about 160 grams and long 12 cm and wide 5 cm while the thick nearly 2 and 5 cm. You see here that the adrenal gland rests on the superior pool of the kidney. This is the superior pool of the kidney and this is the inferior pool of the kidney. This is the concave outer curvature. And this is the inner concave curvature. This is a convex, sorry. And this is concave. The kidney is protected by three layers of connective tissue. From the outside, this is the fibrous renal fascia. This is associated with the abdominal organs, wall. And the second is the adipose tissue. And this is which close to the kidney, which also compose of Fibrinous tissue is renal capsule. So this protective layers protect the kidney from infection transmission. What are the anatomical structure of the kidney branchiae? The kidney have two layers. One of them is the outer, which called renal cortex, and the inner called the medulla. And the medulla have six to ten renal pyramid, separated by renal columen. And the pyramid has both base and 
plant point this is plant point of the pyramid this is face the pelvis and this is face the cortex and this top end we call it renal papillae we call it renal papillae which face the sinus pelvis and also we see here that this papillae opened into minor calyx and major calyx the main functional unit of the kidney is the nephron and each kidney contain about 1 million 200 uh, unit of nephrons and nephrons consist of two principal parts this is what we call it renal corbicle this is 75 to 80 percent of this corpuscle located in the cortex so the cortex is looked darker than the medulla and renal tubule and renal tubules is for transport urine after filtration now we return back to the corpuscle the renal corpus composed of two parts This is the glomeruli, tuft of uh, blood capillary, the efferent and efferent capillary, and Bowman capsule. And Bowman capsule. Bowman capsule have two, uh, two, two, two part of uh, cells. One of them, the other, is sequamous epithelia. And the viscera, which is connect or contact with the glomeruli, is visceral layer and uh, consists of bodocyte cell. Consists of bodocyte cell. Now, the renal tubule, as we say, this is the renal corpuscles, and this is from here start the tubule the first is the proximal tubule and have convoluted part and straight part and this type of renal tube I mean the proximal have simple cuboidal epithelial contain microvilli look like uh, push border and then a straight and make u-shaped nephron we call it loop of henel loop of henel and then the straight part of the distal tubule and the convoluted part of the this tubule and finally the collecting duct the blood supply of the kidney the kidney receive blood which about 21 percent of the cardiac output and each kidney supplied by renal artery this is the renal artery which rises from the abdominal aorta this is rising from the abdominal aorta this is the renal artery and here enter the kidney from this fossa. so we call it the hilla and give a branch to each loop this is called intra looper artery and then it arcuates it arcuates and give what call it intra lupular this is intra looper 
and this is intra lupular and then it enter renal corpuscle and here we call it the efferent arteriole and then it leave the corpuscle by the efferent arteriole this is the blood supply and they're retained back by the uh, venous system retained back by the venous system from the renal vein to the inferior vena cava now the second part of the urinary system or the second organ is the ureter this is the ureter each kidney have one ureter and this ureter is a muscular tube that extend from the kidney to the urinary bladder nearly uh, 25 centimeter long and 1.7 uh, centimeter diameter and it reach the urinary bladder the histological layer of this ureter have three main layers this is the lumen the first one is the adventitia this is the adventitia and then the muscularis this is layer of muscularis two layer of smooth muscle and then the mucosa the mucosa is transitional epithelia and also the mucosa contain lamina propria contain lamina propria now we reach the urinary bladder this is a muscular sac this is yeah urinary bladder is a muscular sac located in the floor of the pelvis this is the pelvis bone and pelvis cavity this is the urinary bladder this is here we have the pubic symphysis and this is the tococcus and this is the sacrum this is the pelvis and the epithelia of the urinary bladder is transitional epithelia and when it was fill with urine and stretch it become it appear one layer but when it was empty it take a wrinkled shape called vugi and have a muscular layer called distroser muscle and here we have the three openings of the ureters this is two opening for the ureter and one for the urethra this area or this region we call it the trigon where the ureters and the urethra opened in the urinary bladder finally we have the urethra and also we see here that the urethra which conveys urine out of the body and in male it's longer than female it's equal to 18 centimeter in long and have three region the first one is a prostatic region this is a prostatic region here we find the prostatic gland and then the membranous urethra and finally the spongy urethra uh, and this 
uh, move through the uh, penis, also called uh, penal urethra. And you see here the histological layer of the urethra. This is the lumen, and this is the transitional epithelia. And then we have the very high vasculated area, which is the spongy, spongy urethra, and it contains urethral gland. Till here, we finished the anatomy of the urinary system. Thank you.